pull out an egg from exhibit A, excuse me. I don't pull out um, an egg. You, I know, it's professionally oh, done. Do they pull one egg? Uh, actually, there's a whole thing that's going on about this. They, they have to first exercise. go they through, stop, they have know, to go through hormone firmness. treatment. Right. That takes the, it takes the ovary from this nice little spherical thing, makes it very elliptical with a lot of eggs all over it, okay? It's kind of dangerous, okay? Right. Some women have lost their fertility forever on it, so it's dangerous. Would you sell an egg? Uh, maybe. How much? Oh. About. Give me a ballpark figure. Probably $100,000. $100,000? Yeah. You, how much? How much would your eggs go for? <laughs> how much? Um, probably a million. A million? But all you're going for is an egg. I mean, I'm not buying your ear. I'm buying your egg. You're buying, you're buying the genetic code that makes her egg. You're buying the entire package. But her egg, necessarily, if I put it, you know, wherever we're feasting it or taking her egg harvest, right? Huh? It doesn't necessarily make it beautiful. There may be a recessive gene. See, I remember biology. Like, you know, when you're doing geraniums, they're not all going to end up pink. They're going to be duds. Uh, there are no guarantees that you're going to get a baby that's as pretty as that. But if a couple that has, genetically has big noses, they decide that they don't want a child with big nose. Instead of waiting to have a, a, a cosmetic surgery when they're 13 or 14 years old, they'll go in and change the gene, okay? And so the baby will not have a big nose because this is out of everyone's control. It's human nature to try everything. You mean to want perfection? To, it's human nature to try everything. This is evolution. This doesn't mean that everyone will be beautiful. But you Just, mean they're going to make the attempt to be beautiful? They do now. Look well, at the cosmic cosmetic surgery. Look at makeup. Look at look at fashion. All of it's about covering up body, body parts that you feel are unattractive and putting out your most feminine body parts to get a mate. If that was the case, then we would just take one night of like, you know, the greatest sperm we can get our hands on and then go die somewhere. You know, lay an egg like a sardine and then go die somewhere. Well, the fact is that the mathematics show that people choose for different reasons than most people think, okay? And so they have a little chart in Scientific American that shows the more money you have, the more love you get, the higher the heart goes. Okay. This is. I'm sorry. I have to get off the elevator. <laughs> I don't know what books you're reading. Scientific you know? American. I know, but it doesn't matter, really. You know, like they're. You know, people are crazy all over. You know, Mein Kampf was a pretty well-read book too. Do you not acknowledge that this is madness? Uh, it is madness. That it's madness. Oh, it's I don't, madness. I don't think so. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. No. Who wrote that? A greeting card? That was in a book too.